love the color palette of these ones. Woo -hoo -hoo, man! Today I saw something that I just don't, I've never seen before. Check this out. A free admission for one year for one person. Oh. I always get frustrated when Jerry doesn't take his food. You know, it stresses me out. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Can you give me one second? I'll be right back, all right? Just one more second. We're gonna go ahead and get into an unboxing right now. What do you guys say? I absolutely love unboxing snakes, and I think these are gonna be pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure, because I haven't seen them, but I think they're gonna be pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and just jump right in to see what we have going on here. I love starting the day this way, you know what I mean? So what do we have? Ooh, doggy, I tell you what, that is pretty amazing. Let's see what we have here. Oh, man, these things are Gorgeous, man, and they've got some size to them. My buddy produces a handful of clutches of really cool ball pythons each year, and then he just sends them all to me, and I just take them to resell them and stuff like that. But he put some size on these. They are beautiful. Of course, this one right here is what they would call an ultramel. It's a recessive mutation. It's similar to a caramel albino, but the caramel albinos sometimes have some kinking issues. Ultramels are much better about that. So these things are gorgeous. Just take a look at these things, man. Oh, ow, gosh, that's sucker is mean just bit the heck out of me and of course these are ultra melt pinstripes unbelievable like i said this little guy he's cranky he's not in a good mood man i tell it these things are gorgeous and again really good size to them so i couldn't be more happy about that and we have a couple other bags in this box too that have some really good goodies in it too so it's gonna be a good shipment i tell it i love it when i'm kind of surprised by the quality of stuff again my buddy always does really well but these ones look incredible that's what we have here. Oh, oh my gosh. These things are crazy too. Oh my gosh. These are good ones. You guys are going to love these. Ready? Look at that. Is that insane or what? That's right. These are albino piebald ball pythons, a double recessive mutation, both albino and pied. It looks like we have a couple just normal albinos in here that are actually het for pied as well, but all the rest of them here are albino pies. Just take a look at these things. Whew, I tell you what, these are beautiful little monkeys for sure. I tell you, I'm blown away. Again, really well started, really well cared for, and look absolutely gorgeous. Okay, one last bag to open up. And then the last bag and these guys are gonna be beautiful I tell you well they were all beautiful don't get me wrong but I love the color palette of these ones oh man these things are gorgeous I tell, this is this was an awesome shipment of snakes right here take a look at this Oh my gosh, it's a handful of purple ball pythons. These are actually what they call mystic potions, which are mystic, which is a co-dominant mutation, bred to a Mojave, and they produce these like purplish looking animals. I mean, those things are red. Ridiculous! How amazing are those? And what's really interesting is you could breed Mystic to Mystic and get Super Mystic, and then you can breed that to a Super Mojave, just like my buddy did, and every single baby in the entire clutch comes out these purple Mystic potions. How amazing is that? Wow, I tell you what, I this is, this is the best way to start the day. Let me know in the comments which animals you really like and which one is like your favorite of the ball pythons that we did. Oh, and by the way, down, while you're down there, can you smash that like button for me? Let's get this video over, like I say, 10,000 likes if you guys don't mind you know working at bhb i gotta be honest with you you know you see tons of crazy stuff every day you never know what's gonna happen but today i saw something that i just don't i've never seen before check this out you've got pants on you like that what is going on these are i seen these these are action adventure look at that you see these guys out there in the jungle wrangling snakes i had to get them oh my finally God. wearing the pants in the relationship is that what it is? there you, you go Oh my, well, you know fall is coming. You know fall is coming when Eric has, to, I don't even think in the winter you In the wear. winter, I usually don't. It was laundry day. I had these bad boys laying around. Why not? You gotta get oh to work somehow, gosh. right? I tell you what, well, I, I've seen it all now. <laughs> I think, you didn't even look, I was wondering who you were at first. Everyone. Noah, Every did you see this? See what? What did you see? Did you see Eric has pants man. on? I know, that was the first time I've ever seen Eric wear pants. No, seriously, I'm a shorts guy. It'll be negative 20 and I've got shorts on. And know. The, you know what I mean? You got high temperature running through your blood. That's right, that's that right. A little extra blubber, you know, it's like, a, I'm like a seal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just go right in the water and come out, you're fine. It's fine. You should see him swim. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want to see that. All right, all right, back to work.
Gonna try Toothless on some fish here. Every now and then we give him a little treat. He usually absolutely loves it. Got food, got food. See, he's targeting on that. Here you go, baby. Oh yeah, he loves fish. He absolutely loves it. We're just gonna give him one more piece. I'm gonna do the same thing, kind of get him a little target. There you go. He's so cute. Got to actually hide the fish because he was actually going right up to the cup and trying to take it. There you go, buddy. Nice big old meal for you today. You look so good, buddy. <laughs> I love Toothless. He's so amazing. There you go, bud. Last one. One last piece for Toothless. That'll give him a nice little belly of food. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if Tazzy wants some too. Just giving a couple animals a couple treat because I thawed out a bunch of fish. Go ahead and see if Tazzy wants to eat. You want to eat, buddy? Yeah? He's good at targeting. He definitely is all over that target. Want the fish? Want to try? There you go, buddy. You seem to like it. <laughs> he's so adorable. I think he's like the cutest little guy when he eats. He's so delicate and dainty. Target him up again. There we go. We just bring him right over to me. Hide the ball. Get, whoop, I scared him. Give him another little piece. There you go, baby. There you go, sweetheart. You're so cute. Want some more? There you go, sweetheart. I love giving Tazzy some treats, you know. I love giving all the animals, and it's so cute to see him. I mean, look how adorable he is. Oh my God, that is so cute. He's so, so dainty. Definitely not a ferocious animal whatsoever, so uh, that was pretty awesome. Guess what? We're only, what, what, a little more than a week away from our anniversary party. I know I've been telling you guys this all the time. The 22nd, Sunday, 12 to 8 o'clock, one year anniversary. If you've ever wanted to come to the Reptarium, we will have an absolutely amazing day. There's going to be giveaways, but I wanted to tell you is I decided I'm going to have, like, like some circus clowns, some horses, maybe an elephant, and if I can get a giraffe, would that be okay? All right, so none of that is going to happen, so do not come for those things, come for the cool things that are gonna be there. I can't get, I can't do any elephants or giraffes? No, that's what? not gonna happen. Oh my gosh, all right, all right. The truth is I wasn't gonna do any elephants or drafts, but I do want you guys to come. We have, a, we're gonna do a giveaway, right? Do we know what giveaways? We're gonna do a giveaway every hour, is it? Yes, we're gonna do one every hour with the big prize being a free admission for one year for one person. Oh my God, that's so awesome. And then every hour we're gonna be giving some prize away face painting. I think we're gonna have pizza guy here that's gonna be really cool. Regardless, we'll have stuff outside that is free. You can come and just hang out outside. Don't have to pay a dime. And, or you can come into the Reptarium from 12 to eight. So uh, there it is. I'm gonna keep reminding you guys until the day comes. Ben and Jerry shed the other day, so it's time to feed them. Come on guys. That's one. Come on boy. Take, come on Jerry. Ben always takes it right away and then Jerry sometimes takes it and sometimes doesn't. I always get frustrated when Jerry doesn't take his food. You know, it stresses me out, but I know it's good that Ben is eating and Jerry's eating most of the time. I'll just keep on trying for a few more minutes. And there it goes. Jerry's eating. Yes, Ben and Jerry are eating again. I don't know why Jerry is just so much more timid than Ben. Ben comes charging out and just grabs it. And then Jerry, I think, oftentimes wanted to wait till Ben is like semi done eating before it'll start. What a weird animal. But I am just so excited that they're both eating. That's awesome. Finally, this clutch hatched out. This was that chocolate female that was bred to an extreme gene banana spider and some really beautiful babies. It's always interesting when you cut eggs and then you actually see them in person. And then once they hatch out, it's really sometimes completely different results. I remember these two here, when they were in the eggs, I thought they were banana chocolates actually. And it turns out that these are two just normal banana ball pythons. And then what we have here is potentially a banana extreme gene, just because it looks a little bit different, has a little bit of the striping on it. That one's a little bit tough. And I think that once it actually sheds out, we'll have a much better idea. This one is definitely a banana extreme gene. It's really beautiful. The extreme gene reduces the pattern, causes some of these dot dashing on the sides, and then it kind of brightens it up a little bit too. So that's an absolutely gorgeous animal. This is actually what a normal extreme gene looks like. So this doesn't have any other genes in it. Again, you can see kind of that patterning in the side oftentimes is like this. This is a really classic extreme gene animal. And again, in itself, it's not that 
crazy of an animal, right? But when you mix it into other things, it becomes pretty cool. Take for instance, these two here are actually Extreme Gene Spider Ball Pipe Dies. So once you mix the Extreme Gene into spiders and even pinstripes with reduction of pattern, it even reduces it more and it makes them really cool. I mean, I love the way these two look and it's just, I mean, it's one of my favorite genes to kind of mix around here. And then actually it's pretty cool because really the only chocolates we got in the entire clutch were these two. And these are the two that you really want because this is a banana extreme gene spider chocolate ball python. So this has all the genes in it. Both of these here have all of the genes and they are absolutely gorgeous animals. So I love it. This is the first time I've ever produced this particular mutation. So I was really excited about it. So a little bit weird kind of odds with what's going on, but nevertheless, some beautiful, beautiful snakes. This clutch here was actually a yellow belly female bred to a pastel kingspin male. Pretty cool stuff. This was just a normal pinstripe here. So that wasn't overly extreme by any means. And I remember when I caught this clutch, I thought this was also a normal pinstripe. Turns out when it hatches, it was beautiful. Much more than I expected. This is actually a pinstripe hat russo because the king spin is actually not a lesser it's a hat russo so theoretically the name shouldn't be king spin but anyways this is also a yellow belly so it's got all kinds of cool genes and i really like the way it turned out and you can kind of see if you compare the normal pinstripe to the pinstripe hat russo yellow belly it's a pretty dramatic difference you know so when you start layering genes it turns out really cool this is just a little bumblebee here which is just the pastel and a spider then this one was really cool i love the way this one turned out this is it i love the way this one turn I love the way this one turned out. This is actually a Lemon Blast Hat Russo Yellow Belly. So this is all kinds of genes going on here. It's Pastel, it's Pinstripe, it's Hat Russo, and it's Yellow Belly. I just love those wide stripes on these guys right here. Kind of the purpley look to it. Really cool. And then finally, we got this monkey here, which is absolutely incredible. This is actually the Pastel Kingspin Yellow Belly. So this has all the genes that we could possibly have gotten in one animal, and it is a ripper. My girl Verde definitely looks like she is ready to eat. You want to eat, girl? Come on. Oh, man. I tell you what. What a difference just a few weeks make. Now she's just taking it right out of my hand. You can see her coming up and hunting. She used to be so timid that if you've been winning with food, she would just hide. Now she's coming out on the hunt. That is awesome. I've got baby Carva 2.0 over here and we're just starting to handle him a little bit. Again, gave him some time to settle in, eating like a pig, doing really, really well. But you know, it's probably gonna take us at least a good month, maybe even two months before we're gonna let other people handle it. The thing is, is that panther chameleons have much softer claws, right? So when we have Raul, which is a really tame veil chameleon. For kids, it's really difficult for them to handle because it's got such big claws and they pinch really hard, right? So the panther chameleons are the perfect thing. So we're just doing some kind of daily handling. You can see he's already darkening up, which means it's a little bit of stress. So we don't want to have him out too long at all. You can see him opening his mouth. This is my cue to say, all right, we had him out. We had him a little bit. Let's put him back in. Let him kind of get really settled in. Going to take us some time to get him really habituated to handling, but an absolutely gorgeous animal. And one day, people are going to really enjoy Enjoy him just like Karma. Oh, and by the way, let's go look at Karma next door and give you guys a little update how he's doing in retirement. And of course, Karma, my boy, is looking absolutely amazing. He's over here. This is exactly where he was for the first five or six years of his life, hanging out in this exact spot. It is kind of cool to kind of give him some quiet time. Again, he's actually looking even more beefy and more fat since we had him over here. So maybe he has some more time than I thought. But regardless, I was thinking he was in his last maybe year, year and a half. And I just wanted to give him some private time back over here at the Reptarium. The crew loves him. Beth takes care of him. Andrea does. It's absolutely amazing. So he's loving life back over here where he kind of started. And again, the new little karma uh, will be good at some point anyways, but I love this guy and I have such a history with him. So uh, I'm so happy to see he's happy over here at BHB. I just didn't want you guys to think that anything happened to him or anything like that. We just thought it was time for him to come back over here and uh, enjoy retirement. It's always like Christmas when I get to unbox some animals. And by the way, we have a really cool unboxing. I think tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So if you guys enjoy that, you will enjoy tomorrow's video. And oh, by the way, right here, there's a video of me unboxing that's pretty awesome. And an entire playlist, if you guys want to check it out over here, please hit that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on. Have a wonderful day and be kind to someone. And I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.